Hello, uh, Job Doer here. And today's little uh, trip down uh, Culinary Road into Snackland is um, a little treat that's originated um, around here, kind of in the south. But um, some say it's even came from over from Africa. So back a long time ago, before any of us was born, um, you know, the the south is known for one of the things they're known for is grown peanuts, and um, that's what I got here. I'm going to have some boiled peanuts today. I'm not making them from scratch, but I got this little batch here that I'll put in a pan with the, the juice, like so. And then I'm just going to um, give it a little reheat on the good old uh, cooktop here, stovetop. Spread them out. The idea here is to get them warmed up. Not back to boiling, just um, you know, back to being warm. And uh, while that's heating up, over here, I have a couple that I just kind of stuff aside. Because um, they say you can eat them hot or cold. You know, and so I got this one here. Crack them open here. Uh, make sure there's nothing dripping on the floor. Alright, so look at there. There we got some nice slightly juiciest, you know, still cold to touch peanut. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. So, this brand here is um, one that I won't name it, but it actually has a spiciness to it. It's like a Cajun, maybe, or a I don't know, I forgot the can said, but spicy. It came in a can, rip off the top, pop, I uh, pop top. I saved half, the other half I uh, ate at the time. And you know what? This is um, not too bad. Having them cold, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of refreshing. In fact, I think they said something like, in a, you know, on a hot summer day, it's good to have some of these. And uh, you can have them, you know, they, with a soda, sweet teas, maybe some, uh, some uh, beer, if you know that. But um, okay. So the shells, of course, are um still firm, but you know there's no crunch here, no crunch at all. So if you if you like peanuts and like the nutritional stuff you get from them, um, boiling them takes away any hardness. Of course, then again, if you eat them raw, that takes away the hardness too. But Mmm, these have a nice flavor to them because of the spice too. Um, <clears throat> so this is kind of like my breakfast time. I don't do this all the time for sure. Because um, there are some, some, some health benefits to these. Like they say that if you have boiled peanuts, you get um, four times the amount of antioxidants in them. Right, so that's a good thing. You know, those cancer fighting antioxidants. And um, from what I understand, it's because a little bit of maybe osmosis happens between the shells of these things and the little legume inside. But where I have issues is peanuts are high in oxalates. And so anyone that has a kidney issues, kidney stones like calcium oxalates, they will know that, um, you know, these things are... Uh, not necessarily good for kidney stones. But like I said, this is a, a special time. After I eat these, I might never see them again. And um, another thing I like to do for um, like breakfast time, side note here, is uh, you know, if you have something like a uh, granola bar. You like granola bars, right? But they're a little hard sometimes. I like to dip them in my morning tea. See this? Dip it, get a little stir. You know, take a bite of that. Watch out for the drips. You don't want it dripping everywhere. And, uh, we've got hot tea. It's a granola bar. And, um, that's good. Right? Softens it up, brings out some flavors. This here is brought to you by, ta da! Egg and I. Or, 
egg works. They're in Las Vegas, right? Mm. And uh, if I was in Vegas, I'd be eating there for breakfast. That place is delicious. But that's just a side note. Another side note. Mm. I take a shortbread cookies, right? Dumped in in my tea. A little stir, a little donkey donkey. And uh, nibble on that in the morning. Mm hmm. Buttery goodness. All right, um. Back over here. They're, um, heat up nicely. They're not super hot yet. I'm gonna give it a little stir for, for even reheating. And, uh, ooh, a big one. I'm gonna save it for a little bit later, let's see. So, let's say that you might want to eat these outside, just because it's like, you know, you get shells like this. You know, outside you just toss them in the dirt or whatever. Maybe not though, because, uh, even though these are biodegradable, you know, they can build up after a while. <coughs> and, uh, let's see, do we have enough heat on this? Yeah, that's coming back. But I will, uh, just kind of reach in here and grab one. All right. I can feel the heat. So, let's crack this one open at the end, see how good I do. Um, from what I understand, some people eat the shells on these too after they've been boiled. I will not. I don't need that much fiber right now. Alright, look at that. Now, they are, you know, kind of slimy texture to them. But, I can deal with this. You know what? Because, uh, I mean, even though I do like, you know, peanuts, almonds, cashews, things like that, um, kind of like a roast. I, like, I usually like them a uh, heavier roast, so they have like more crunch and the hardiness to them. Uh, these are uh, still um, interesting. Interesting texture, interesting flavor. Who knows, maybe by boiling them, the oxalates go down, but maybe not. Maybe because they're all trapped in the shells. Hmm, okay, so, boiled peanuts. Um, maybe you can find them on the shelf in a story with you. Otherwise, you can find them in the south. Um, and really don't know what else to say on this video. So, I'm just gonna finish eating this here. I'm gonna, now that they're kind of heated, I can strain them through the spoon and put them on the paper towel. Take more of the liquid out of them. And, uh, yeah, still got me a uh, little cookie to eat through here, and start my day off right. And by lunchtime, I'll have my sugar crash done, and I'll have a real meal. So, if you like this video, thumbs up. If not, yeah, whatever. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions or comments on this, you know, leave them down below, because I don't know how many people have eaten this. If, if you've eaten these, especially if you eat them constantly, let me down, know down below. And, um, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the comments section. Oh,